Spider Gwen suit pattern by El Macho. And uh, at first I posted that this was by Arachnid Studios on my previous video and I've just corrected that mistake in the description. So yeah, this pattern is by El Macho and it is a really nice, unique Spider Gwen pattern. One of the definitive features about this pattern is it does not have the blue shoes that Spider Gwen has come to be known for, especially since the release of Into the Spider-Verse. Having said that, if you want those shoes, uh, this might be a better option because if you want to get the shoes separately on like eBay or Amazon or from some retailer and attach them on instead of having the blue shoes printed physically onto the pattern, then this is probably the suit for you because it just has black feet. So that might actually be an advantage even if you do want the shoes. But if you want the shoes literally printed right onto the costume, then you should probably look for another pattern or ask El Macho to add them in. Let's just break all the features down part by part. First off, the colors are nice and rich and they are very akin to the other Spider Gwen patterns out there. They look very similar, but it's a pretty unique pattern too. So if you want one with a subtle variation from uh, the most common ones out there, this is a good pattern for you. Honeycomb area is really definitive. The honeycombs are much bigger than on the Spider-Man costumes I have, but it's a really cool look. The pink area on this suit is super vibrant. It looks really cool. So that pink area can be seen around the pattern and it's also the inner lining of the hood. Which brings me to the hood, it looks awesome. And this particular suit was printed and assembled by It's Heroes Time and they did just a great job. The Lycra is really nice, it has a really nice quality, they printed the colors on it well, and the hood looks well. But I'll do a separate review of Heroes Time and their printing service anyway, so you can check that out later. But let's just get back into the pattern by El Macho. The muscle tone on the suit is really simple, but it's really nice. It's mainly found on the black area, and although it's really subtle, I like it a lot. I really like the feature of the belly button, and it looks pretty cute. Yeah, there's also the blue area, which looks really nice, and the color came out really well. Honestly, that's about it. I have a really positive uh, review of this pattern. I think that El Macho did a really meticulous job, and it's just as good as patterns made by other of the, you know, kind of top tier pattern makers out there. And one thing I would like to say that if you're looking at this costume and you do or don't like the lenses, just know that the lenses aren't part of the digital pattern. They were provided by Heroes Time and they're really cool. They're rubber frame lenses that are fog free. But yeah, just to repeat that one more time, they're not part of the digital pattern. So that's not what I'm reviewing now. They're not by El Macho. And if you wanted the lenses to be different, uh, then you could just get a different set of lenses or if you like these lenses, then be sure to get them from Heroes Time. That's their like standard Spider Gwen lenses. All in all, this suit is really cool. I didn't wear it myself. Multi Moon Cosplay wore it in our video. If you want a closer look at this suit, be sure to check out our Spider Gwen web slinging video. And you can check out my other costume reviews and nerdy videos on my YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and let me know what you'd like to see from us in the future.